Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my DIY channel. Uh, what I have here is the Lena rail that I purchased on AliExpress. And uh, today I want to see how good it is, okay? Um, uh, in terms of flatness and whatnot, mechanically, uh, how, you know, um, the, the surfaces are flat, not, not bad, okay? What I have here in my surface plate, which is calibrated every three years, as you can see, the sticker over here, it, uh, the due date is February 27, 2026. That's the calibration sticker for the surface plate. And the equipment is also calibrated every six months. As you can see, the due date is February 2024. And the last one is, um, is uh, in August 2023, every six months. And also this, my dial test indicator is also calibrated as well. It's um, the same day, February 2024. That's from Mid Toyo. Um. Okay, let me explain what it is. Okay, from zero to five, meaning five thousand of an inch in Imperial, because this is Imperial. We work in North America, so that's why. And from zero to four, which is four thousand of an inch, which is pretty much um, about. 100 microns 4,000 of an inch is 100 microns 0 0.1 millimeters okay so that's what it is okay if it's one line is half of a thou 510 I call it 510 so one line is 510 half of 1,000 of an inch okay let me explain that and what I have here is two V block they call it pair V blocks and they are pretty much the same ground V block um, uh, I'm gonna show you quickly show you so right here zero all right if I run them it should be showing a zero across the uh, ground surfaces see zero yeah I run them and it's zero you see that so they are the same height okay so I'm gonna use these two pair blocks and put my linear rail on top to check for flatness from one point to another eliminating any uh, kind of like um, uh, bat in the middle okay so let's test it over here first okay I have it here it's uh, zero thou and touching that surface is zero thou and if I move it into the middle I will see 1000 uh, difference I move it over here it's also 1000 uh, of an inch uh, which is 12 microns okay let's test it again on this side 1000 and back here so uh, zero so the linear rail is somewhere that high and this is high point 12 micron and 12 microns that's for the linear rails what happened to the block let's check the block So I put that, I put it at zero, uh, maybe not, let put it at zero and move the block onto this side and check it again. So at also zero. Okay, let's move the block over this side and check it. So 1000 uh, difference of 12 microns from this side to the other side. So, which is okay, pretty, Pretty, I'm happy with uh, with this. I mean, it's only 12 microns, okay? There's a difference. Nothing is perfect, okay? But if you're gonna wanna be perfect, you're gonna pay a lot more just for, not for $30 or something, $20 for this linear rail, you're gonna pay a lot more. If you want a perfect from here to here, you know, according to the surface plate like this, if you measure from one point to another. And I wanna show you the extrusion also. The extrusion are not flat, okay? They are, if they're not rocking, they consider pretty flat, but they are not flat. If you think the extrusion is flat, you have to think it again. Let me show you. It feels really solid. There's no movement from one point to another, but that zero there, if I move it over here, i check it again. It's 1,000 uh, of an inch of, of difference. And over here, is almost 2,000 of an inch of difference. You see, that's the highest point. I just want to see the highest point. So that 2,000 of an inch, it's like 1,000 of an inch here, 
and that is um, uh, zero over here yeah and as you can see from one point to another 12 micron difference and I consider them pretty flat but not some of them are not flat at all if you turn uh, them like this so this one zero thou zero thou and that is 2000 of an inch 2000 of an inch is like 50 micron 50 five zero micron 0 0.05 millimeters okay depends on the surface that you put it on so some are not flat you know some is flat so zero there again is 1000 of an inch and this is 2000 almost 3000 of an inch okay 2000 of an inch so they have, they are 50 microns which is I consider them pretty good okay and for the next video I'm gonna use I'm gonna put the leaner rail onto the extrusion heat it up I want to find out whether they are bowing uh, for the aluminum extrusion because some people they use this one and put a backing to prevent from the uh, aluminum extrusion from bowing so I want to test it and if you like it please make sure you subscribe it and then next week I'm gonna re release a video showing you how much it's spending when you heat this uh, thing up because I use this one in my 3D printer and inside the 3D printer it gets pretty hard I want to find out if there any any deviation uh, if you heat it parts up because they say that by metal expansion thermal expansion gonna screw up your print by itself there's a difference if 50 microns from one side to another on your extrusion and the linear rail itself is like 12 microns uh, different so if you add them up it's already 75 microns almost as much as 0.1 by itself and I'm gonna show you the temperature right now for these part so it's 21 degrees all these part are regular room temperature so they are already almost at 0.1 millimeters uh, of difference already so if you heat them up what happens i'm going to do that next week okay St stay tuned and subscribe to the channel okay i'll see you next video